So how big is Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? The ninth generation of Pokemon just came out a few days ago. And I've actually been having a great time with the game so far, despite its many... Uh, can I even show it out on YouTube? And since Scarlet and Violet are the first real non-segmented open world Pokemon games, I really wanted to find out how big the Paldea region is in real world measurements, and see how it compares to other open world games like Breath of the Wild. So I naturally had to start by finding a reference point for scale. At first I wanted to use the main character, but Game Freak just seemingly can't decide how big they are supposed to be, so that would be a bit inconsistent. So instead I'll be using my trusted bipedal friend Lucario, mostly because I want to keep this video as spoiler free as possible, and it's easier to use him since most of his size is in his verticality. Since you can luckily find Pokemon's exact height in their Pokedex entry, we don't need to measure Lucario manually. So his size is 311, or 119 meters. The next problem at hand was the map. Because Game Freak decided to do a little trolling with me, so if you zoom all the way out you get a way less detailed version of the map. And I'd need a version with pretty high amount of details to get the most accurate measurements. So I had to stitch together around 20 screenshots of the map zoomed in to get a high quality version with all the details. Now since we have both a usable map and a Pokemon with hopefully accurate height details, I could find somewhere on the map to measure. It would preferably have to be somewhere easily recognizable from a distance, with high contrast to its surroundings. So I decided to go with a small Pokemon arena on the beach a little distance from your house, where you first fight Nemona. I then signed out Lucario and checked how many times his height could fit horizontally across the arena. After trying a few different methods I found that you could fit about 12.24 of Lucario's height across the width of the arena, which would make it around 14.56 meters. Getting this part as accurate as possible is extremely important, which I will get back to later. But to be sure I got it right I did the same process with some other Pokemon. And every time I did the width came out slightly different, which is a problem. And probably means the height in the Pokedex entries and the scale of the game doesn't have a pinpoint accuracy. So the width I mentioned wasn't just found with Lucario, but it's the average width calculated with multiple different Pokemons. Oh no Lucario, why are you doing walking towards that suspiciously placed subscribe but oh wow he clicked it. Well I guess you should all follow his example and do the same. But anyways, like my video on the size of Xenoblade Chronicles 3's Ionios, I can now just import the map into the graph tool GeoGebra and measure the width of the arena on the important map, then just take the in-game distance divided by the GeoGebra unit distance and multiply it by the scale value of the map image, which would make the map 1 to 1. So anything measured in GeoGebra should be the exact same distance as it's meant to be in-game. So it turns out the total width of the map is around 5070 meters and the length is around 4715 meters. Now we'll just have to take the width times length to get the full area of the map. But before we move on to the results, I just thought it was necessary to clarify just how important getting the right dimension of that arena was. Since the arena is one of the only parts you could accurately measure due to its small scale and how easy it is to find on the map, the error margin becomes extremely big. I set up this formula to easily be able to calculate the area of the map based on the width of the arena. This is the scale value of the map and the unit distance from GeoGebra, and everything is squared to get the area. 0.93 is the ratio between length and width, and 10 to the power of minus 6 is to convert square meters to square kilometers. So the difference between only 2 meters on that arena would mean a total change of 6.77 square kilometers. So yeah, there's a lot of pressure on that part. But anyways, time for the results. So it turns out the entire area of the Paldea region is around 23.91 square kilometers, or 9.23 square miles. But how does the Paldea region compare to other open world games? Well, Breath of the Wild is usually estimated at around 70 square kilometers compared to Scarlet and Wild's 23.91 square kilometers. So Zelda is obviously much bigger. But like I said in my previous video on Xenoblade, I really think the size itself of open world games doesn't matter that much, but rather how well designed and immersive they are, even though it's still super fun to calculate the size. But I'm not here to comment on the quality of the world itself, I just wanted to estimate its approximate size. But I am really interested in hearing what other people's opinions on the games are so far, so be sure to let me know. And of course if anyone else decides to try the formula to see what they get, I'd love to hear that too. So I hope you don't mind me, but I gotta get back to playing Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet on my Nintendo 3DS.